Hello guys and welcome back to episode 8 of China on Deity in Civilization 6 where uh, we at some point have to pick a victor condition because right now we're you know we're teching a bit we're getting some policies haven't really decided getting some money I think uh I think we have like an okay amount of trade routes I mean we do want a little bit more but probably not too many my impression with, with it is that I've done games where I go like 10, 12 trade routes and that's all well and good. But when you're not playing a Sith that benefits from it, you just kind of fall behind in other aspects. So this one up here could definitely make an industrial zone. Uh, if I wanted industry, but I kind of want industry just in like this city and this city, probably. I mean, this doesn't have the best industry either, although it's okay. Uh, we could make it like an entertainment complex. Uh, I mean, I do have to make an entertainment complex somewhere, probably. But... I mean, not here. We could make a commercial hub and that would be okay. Get some gold. We could also make a harbor. We get some production, some gold. Probably not ideal. Although I do want two harbors. Right? That's what I was told. Ah, um, actually we passed it when we needed two harbors. Uh, I'm actually most tempted to make... Uh, do we want a campus? Like, I don't think so. I'm probably most tempted to make a commercial hub, actually. Earn some money. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think we should maybe start looking at how are people planning to win. Aztecs are leading. 60, 83, that's not a ton. 37, 44. And we're 549. But like, not, not incredible. There are, whoa, 170? 114? 170? Wow. And religion, 130, 138, 100. Aww. Culture actually looks pretty soft. Science looks incredibly, like, unobtainable. 170. They have 38. We have 22. They almost have twice. Mm, okay. Well, we do have the Great Wall, which will turn into culture. I mean, we could go culture. I don't think we're winning science. We're not winning religion. We could win domination, of course. Uh, but that's probably about it. So if we decided that we wanted to go uh, if we decided we wanted to go um, culture I mean we do have some set up for it we don't have a ton but we have some uh, so I don't want more commercial I kind of want to make an entertainment complex then make it uh, make it here probably We need housing though. Although aqueducts are just bad because we only get two. I mean, if we wanted more housing, we could go up. Uh, we can go up towards urbanization, but that's like pretty far up. I think we're going exploration though. And then, what do we do with our research? Cartography, we should finish at some point. You know, at some point. <laughs> uh... Scientific theory is fine. Uh, 
I mean, I want printing, but I need a second university. I guess we could make the castle thing for the wall if we're going culture. Am I making... I guess I'm making a campus down here eventually. Uh, what can this build? Nothing? Okay, well that's terrible. Um... That is actually terrible that we can't build anything. I guess we can just take it off production because it generally doesn't build anything either. And just make one of the mock builders. Actually, maybe that's bad. I have one build, three build. Ah. Why can't I build this? Across a harbor? I could make a build and send over to make like the Colosseum. That seems okay, because we can expand builder charges, right? Oh, I have so much money. My temple, but that's terrible. We don't really have a lot of options or things to buy. Which I guess is great. I guess I'll buy a monument, because I can. I mean, one of the interesting things about monuments in Civ 6 compared to 5 is that they used to cost the gold in upkeep, not it is free. Create with the heart, build with the mind. <laughs> okay, so have a government with six policy slots, which we will have in three turns, which is kind of lining up very nicely. Uh, well, I have a builder here, right? And then this guy has like one build left which i will just send up and improve this tile or something random i actually think it's okay building a builder because this this city is actually not as improved as i recalled it to be i mean if we're going culture we do have that one as well the only downside is we kind of need some great people and we don't really have that and there's someone that's definitely like going in that direction we are gonna get this Trick is the Eureka moment for the computer's technology. I mean, that's like a million years in the future. <laughs> uh, we are pretty behind in points to the Aztecs, but the Aztecs have Africa by themselves. It's like crazy. Uh, other than that, the, like these are okay. The Germans are ahead. And then we're keeping up with Scythia and Rome, and the Arabs are kind of screwed, but they're the ones that spawn on this like terrible island. Like it's such a such a like broken broken spawn. Like it's just so bad. <laughs> Need more housing, yeah. I have noticed that. I think it's something I want to keep in mind and maybe make some aqueducts. Uh, yes, please. Ah, oh, we just got gifted some free gold. Not bad. Horses for... what? He was really want horses. We traded one horse for a luxury resources and extra gold. <laughs> we shall not cease from exploration. Alright, let's change government to a merchant republic. In my path. And then we got castles as well. We got every, we got it all. Plus one amenity, that seems fine. We could get the discount eventually, you know, to upgrade. But so far, we haven't really needed to. Plus two housing. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Campus, we don't have that much. Theater is okay. Uh... Let's say we take housing and theater, if we're going uh, culture. Let me just take like great writer points instead. I mean, that's really not great. Take the theater, I think. <laughs> and then we will research humanism, because then we can start getting the archaeologist stuff, and that's pretty important if we're going to go... Uh, if we're going to go uh, culture.
And we are going to get that eventually when we make a second harbor. We're going to get that when we make a second university. And I guess we go industrialization. Yeah, let's go industrialization. Seems fine. We're re researching industrialization in 940 AD. <laughs> Uh, a little bit off, but otherwise, okay. <laughs> See, they get one culture. Sweet. Здравствуйте. Mm, the Russians. The Ruskies. You want to trade with us? Would you like some wine for some silver? It's a gold returner. Never mind. Like an amphitheater. And this one down here. Uh could make a great lighthouse. I mean that's free gold and a great admiral point, that's actually terrible. Uh probably make the aqueduct. Although it sucks. It's just so capped in, in uh population, right? It is a free through tile, but we do have old house. I mean, this sucks, but I think I should do it. Okay, let's make a library. Actually, let's buy a library. And then how much for the university? 700. That's four turns if we buy it. How much if we build it? 19 turns? Okay, we're not building it. So I need a second harbor, but I don't think it's this city that should build it because it takes forever. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess if we're going culture, we would just get theater squares everywhere, right? We do have a decent amount of income. Not a great amount, but a decent amount. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, do I have a builder? I do. Because I want to... Am I gonna make an aqueduct, really? Guess. It does, it's cause the, like, uh, this one, this one is probably a mistake actually, when I think about it. Now I started it, now I, I really regret it. The, the reason why I regret it is obviously because this one is on a river, so we only get two housing instead of six. Yeah, this was, this is definitely a mistake, cause now I just have a dead tile. I should cancel it and just make like a theater square or something. But I can't. Or just a tile. Okay. Ugh, ten turns. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's let's make it. This one is okay because it's it's like uh it's on the coast so it really doesn't do that much, you know. In this city can't build anything of importance, so it's just chilling. Uh, let us buy a trader and then pass the turn. <laughs> I took some of the production tiles from uh, Tokyo and gave it to Chaonong because I want to obviously be production focused. Uh, so we can finish that. Oh, I spent my money and I was supposed to build a university. Whoops. <coughs> well, you do make it back reasonably fast with the gold, but obviously a little bit silly. Uh, so here... I think I'm gonna make the Colosseum. And make it right here. And... And... Have a builder come over when it's done. I removed that forest because my plan is to build something there, like a district. So if the plan is to build something there, it just makes sense to remove the forest first, get the production boost from it. 
before we get rid of it. So this one can make a temple, which is kind of funny. Uh, we can also make a theater square here. Entertainment complex, harbor. I mean, if I'm gonna make a second harbor, I have to do it eventually, right? And this city is a pretty good candidate. So I can build it right there. I mean, I kind of want the university. So that is 765 gold. Okay. Well, that means I'm just, I just am going to make a theater district instead. Or meanwhile. And then we will... We'll come back to the... We'll come back to the university. Or to the harbor, sorry. After we buy the university. Is that, mu that must be priority number one, right? Um... Need more housing? Yeah, this one, this one is struggling. <laughs> How are we doing here? The key words of violent economics are urbanization, industrialization. Okay, now we can make like factories, I think it's called. Factories? Yeah, factories. Now we probably want to go something like scientific theory for this and then sanitation for sewers. Because we are struggling a bit. We could also go up to radio for the broadcast centers. I mean, that's not terrible if we want to go that route. We really want this and we need the universities. Could also go banking, seems fine. Actually, maybe grabbing banking on the way, just so we can get the banks, it's okay. We have a couple. <sighs> yeah. Uh, next turn. Oh, we did take that rice now, which we could improve, of course. It's pretty decent. Ooh, I went a bit too far. Earned a great artist. Well, uh, let's just see. How close are we to a great artist at all? Ah, uh, very, very far. So we'll, we'll just continue and complete humanism because it's one of the ways that we can actually start getting artists. So it seems kind of weird that earning a great artist is like the unlock factor. Uh, and then over there. And now they can make another district here, which... It's not going to be an industrial zone. This is not an industrial powerhouse. It's not going to be a harbor. It could be a campus. Probably could just be a theater square. Nice. Guess I'll make it here. No. Guess I'll make it here. The thing about it, adjacency bonus is I want this city to have like a district here. So that's why we're doing it. Like so. Uh, this city can also just be raw production. Because, you know. <laughs> it has no, has no housing at all. So, how much do we need? 600? 765. Three more turns. Uh, here we can make an aqueduct, which is like... Kind of lame, but oh wow, I'm not deleting a five food. Is that the only option? Yeah, okay, well, never mind. I guess you are capped on citizens, you're not getting more, no way. You could make a factory. That seems okay when we have an industrial district. This one benefits this, like all three cities, so it's fine. Uh... Kabul. Kabul. Ugh, it's one of the militaristic ones. You know, the ones we don't want. Are you scared of expansion? I mean, I feel like we have have expanded a decent amount. Apparently not enough for his taste. Let's do the boring... Go through them and see if someone wants to trade. Oh, Togo. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Six gold, I'm not sure. You could maybe go through all of them and find a slightly better deal. But I just kind of lazied out there. So here I want to go and boost that Colosseum. And preferably have one left to improve the whale for the luxury resource. Uh, let's see. View reports. He's blocking our report viewing. We're above in amenities in every city. And housing is like a little a little you under pressure. Faith in humanity. You must you must not lose faith. You must not lose faith in humanity. Okay. Uh. This is kind of redundant by now, I think. Maybe just take that one out and then just get some great artist points. These are generally so bad, but we're still pretty early on. They're better early than late for sure. So now, earn a great merchant. It's kind of hard. Colonialism. Two of each from each city where Zeus are enough. It's like not the greatest, but it's okay. I think we go down this way to the Enlightenment and then Opera and Ballad. We could also go Urbanization. Ah, this is also great. I mean, the down, like... Decision... It's only really Opera and Ballad we want down there at all. Enlightenment isn't something we really care about. It does give two envoys though, which is pretty powerful. A spy is okay as well, but... Well, see, if we weren't going there, we'd go Urbanization instead. Oh, then I guess we have to go this way no matter what. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of interested in this one. Camp improvements give plus one. We're in a Great Merchant. Are we like even remotely close to a Great Merchant? Great Merchant. Uh, it's like a hundred turns, so the answer is no. Computers, <laughs> sure. Let's the city build one more district than the population limit allows. Well, this one is going to have quite a lot to build. So, I think the most limited one is actually Kyoto, right? Because that's the city that just kind of sits there and has too much. So I'm going to send it over there. We do have a decent amount of faith now. Can we buy anything? No. No, we cannot. And here's this when being in China is kind of interesting. We can boost it by a whole turn. Yay. I mean, it's obviously better when the one does take a while. It's like a little bit worse because we build it so fast. Alright, I think I will call this an episode here, guys. A pretty successful one, I think. And, uh... I saw a bank that said 20 we have kind of committed to going the culture route now, I think. And we'll, we'll try and make that happen in the, in the next episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.